Well, everybody, we decided not to give this truck away. Totally messing with you guys. Kayla from New Jersey won that truck with $5,000 cash, and you could be next with this one. Every $5 you spend gets you 10 entries to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash. It's a 1989 W350 single rear wheel, five-speed manual, four-wheel drive, 12 valve Cummins, with only 55,000 original miles on it. So if you want to take this baby home, go to lmpgear.com and get entered today. going on fam hopefully guys are all doing fantastic so this is going to be like day one of actual progress on the blue first gen here the restoration first gen is kind of what i'm calling it. i don't really have a name for it i'm just calling it the freaking turd right now because that's what it looks like um, but that's hopefully not the end result uh, let me kind of tell you what our goals are so for today what i'm going to try to work on is tinkering with getting the doors off the truck just other little assorted things that i know i can get done get it done like the doors are a big one the doors are just not good and then once i get the doors off at least this door off i wouldn't mind messing with this fender here and seeing how difficult it would be to get that fender off and i'm trying to debate like where do i draw the line between you know putting the parts back on this truck and not putting the parts back on the truck like i'd like to put the doors on the truck, of course, I can drive it on the road, but like for the front fender, it's kind of like, well, crap. He's gonna have to take them back off so he can paint the back side of the fender. Otherwise, you don't wanna pop the hood and he paints the truck blue, and on the back side, it's a white fender, and the outside is blue. He's gonna wanna do it the right way, which means he's just gonna have to go through all the headache of getting the fender taken back off to paint the back side of it. When we get to it, we'll get to it. I don't know how hard it is to take off or not. I mean, I'll find out how hard it is to take this one off, and then I'll decide whether or not I actually wanna have him go through the hassle of having to take it back off again. But I would like to get everything done because he said that he'll give me a quote to get all the paint work done, you know, after he sees it with the other parts on it so he knows what he's dealing with. Because he said he'd rather not give me a quote until he sees for sure what he's dealing with in terms of paint and body work. That's what we're gonna try to work on today, at least getting started on this truck and getting some of the parts swapped out. Okay, so we got one door off. Believe it or not, that thing not having a door on this side made it look better. I'm actually debating whether or not I should just keep and repurpose this whole bench and have this bench custom upholstery work done. Like have custom upholstery work done to the bench, to the center console, to that side. Like it seems kind of like, dude, it's too far gone. And it might be, I might take it to my upholstery guy and he might be like, um, not touching it. But I do like the captain shears and I feel like if this was like refinished with like a nice stain or something, stain would be the better thing for that to make it look and bring out the old, cool, rugged, you know, ness of the wood and the wear and tear on it. And then like reupholster, you know, the, the armrest and the leather and do everything cool. I just feel like it would still be really, really cool to keep that in the truck. But anyways, next step is gonna be removing the door on the driver's side. Okay, status update. Hood is off, driver's side doors off, batteries are disconnected, of course. Everything is going smooth so far. Doors came right off. I saved all the wiring. Even though doors on the parts truck are not power, they're actually manual. I don't know if we're gonna be able to convert it or if we're gonna have to go to manual doors um, in terms of like windows and stuff, but it was a pain just to find that truck as it was rust-free, dent-free. I mean, it was a pain in the butt. So I wasn't too picky when it came to manual cranking windows or locks. I was like, if I can find a rust-free, dent-free, scratch-free truck, I gotta get it. So anyways, we got the hood off, doors off. Next step would be the fender. I'm not sure how difficult the fender's gonna be. I know that there's a couple bolts I can already see that are gonna be a little bit difficult. Like there's a bolt down here. I'm probably gonna have to take the grill off. There's probably a couple in the front. I did take one of these off before, but it was kind of messy. Um, there's another bolt back here. But other than that, I'm not sure. It might not be that bad to take off. 
Might need a little tugging, a little persuasion, but I think we can get it. I almost got the fender off as well. We did get the hood off and all that jazz. I already showed you that. So you have to cut these rivets, which is what I've been doing. Cut them and drill them out and stuff. So we can get the fender off without destroying this whole structural part here that we have to keep intact for our next one. Um, which is in good shape still, as you can see that. It's just this fender that's all banged up and cut up is what I've been cutting and grinding and drilling out holes. So that's almost off. There's only a couple more, but we are running out of daylight very quickly. So I have to wrap this up, but I don't know guys, day one of actual like progress. It's a pretty, pretty satisfying day, honestly. We got quite a bit I mean, we got the doors off, hood off. I mean, there's a lot to do. I think I'm gonna get the paint and body work done before I do the interior, just so that when I do the interior, I don't get like overspraying stuff on it, just because my paint guy, Miguel, recommended I do the interior after, just because he's like, you know, I'd hate to get, you know, overspray or something if I can't mask everything off, off perfect, like on your interior stuff. So if you could do the paint body work first, that would just give him peace of mind, which would then give me peace of mind. So I don't know, we'll see that, we'll see what happens, but I'm probably gonna do the interior after the paint and body work, just to make sure that the interior is not gonna be, you know, in the way of his paint stuff. So um, anyways, that's gonna be taken off in another video just cause I really do gotta run. But so much going on. Also, the giveaway for this truck is live. Every $5 you spend gets you 10 entries towards winning this truck. This giveaway went live last night at midnight. Really cool, really cool truck, super exciting. And one of you are gonna be taking this home with $5,000 cash. So don't wait around. Get in while you can. 10X entries are gonna end on April 8th. Get your 10X entries and get entered in to win this truck. And in terms of this truck, that's gonna be going home with Kayla from New Jersey, the winner of that truck. So if you wanna be as lucky as Kayla to win a truck plus five grand, here's your opportunity. 55,000 miles, W350, LE, stands for limited edition, four wheel drive, five speed manual, 55,000 miles. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the progress on that truck and hopefully guys are looking forward to seeing the continued progress on this truck in the upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much. Enter that giveaway while you can. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.